Welcome back, fellow rock lovers. Check this out. Kendra and I were just out in West Texas doing some rock hounding, having a blast, and one of the fellows we hunted with, his name is Troy, he found this colorful little agate here and asked me to polish it, see what kind of shine I can get on this colorful area you see right here. It's such a cool shape. I think what I'll do is take this to the cabbing machine and just hand polish it, right? I'll, I'll shape it, sort of following the shape you see there now, kind of a Y shape. Maybe not touch the back. So leave the back the way it is and make this into a freeform cabochon, sort of a Y shaped cabochon. I think if I can get a good shape, I'll be able to bring out a great shine right through there where that color is. The rest of this should shine as well. Although you see here that it looks like there is going to be some of that rhyolite, that host rock, or whatever you call that reddish brown stuff there, which should shine, but probably not as brightly as this area down here. Well, follow me into the shop and let's see how I can shape this and shine it. Once I'm finished, I'll bring it back in here and I'll show you what it looks like. As always, I begin on the 80 grit wheel for the basic shaping and ooh, Look out, it broke. Well, here's how it looks dry. As you can see, I had to work with my new shape, but I still think it's gonna be okay. Let's move on to the 220 grit wheel and we'll clean up those big scratches. So now check it out. The pattern's coming through, it looks nice and smooth. Let's move on to the next wheel, the 280 grit wheel. I'm gonna push in now, get rid of any faceting. And now, as you can see, it's very smooth. That's how you want it to look before we start the, the real polishing, which begins with the 600 grit wheel. Will we get a shine from this? And yes, slightly, right? You can just start to see a reflection. The next wheel is the 1200 grit, normally where the polish really takes off. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that shine now. The shop lights, they are reflecting. And I really like the colors as well. The last wheel is the 3000 grit. And for our polish now, it looks like, ooh, very good. I'm happy with that, but I think we can do better. Let's move over to the cerium belt on the wet belt sander. I'll spend a couple of minutes here. And now for the final polish, we'll check it out. Nice reflection, has that wet look. I really like those vivid colors in this thing as well. It's time to take it inside now for a closer look. Well, what do you think? This colorful West Texas agate has been hand polished and shaped. And, ooh. Well, it's certainly colorful. Look at all of that beautiful pattern in there. And it did take a really good shine. I know, I know, it's not a perfect shape. It broke on me. What are you gonna do? In spite of that though, look at the amazing detail within that orangish chalcedony right there. That is really pretty, I think. And this section over here, Wow, I really like that. I hope I did Troy proud. I really tried. It was difficult though, I won't lie to you. That's how it looks unpolished and what a difference, right? That's why we polish these stones so we can bring out that amazing detail. Look at that, there's green, yellow, red, gray, I think I see white, there's a violet color. Any blue? I don't know if I see blue anywhere. Well, regardless, it has lots of color for sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please check my playlist. I've got lots more lapidary videos like this for you to enjoy. Thanks again for watching.